Well, the grass was giving me trouble last time. I couldn't see over it, so I brought this little uh, tripod rifle rest. You can see where you put the force four grip and the buttstock in it, and then you can kind of adjust it, tilt it up and down, back and forwards, raise it high and low. I've got it set down pretty low here. Because I built this little chair, I'd bought this for my motorcycle for long distance trips, but I sacrificed it to make kind of a little, I don't know how well you can see it, these are I think 1 by 12s got a little piece of half inch pipe on the back back here and uh, soldered those together with a couple of elbows and I think these are about 20 somewhere 22 inches long maybe for the little braces a couple of hinges and then just tied it on with some string now this first prairie dogs out really about close to 200 yards uh, the camera's real steady on him, and uh, as you'll see, uh, I want to draw your attention to the crosshairs with the scope cam. This is the Tacticam. You can tell the crosshair, even though I missed the shot, the crosshairs are just rock solid, steady. I was just a little bit off to the left. Back at the Prairie Dog Village, it's really overclassed and smoky. Just man, prairie dogs are not moving real good today. But uh, we're gonna stick it out and see if we can get a view. I've got a little shade cloth back behind me, so that's gonna help some, and the cloud cover is gonna help some. So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can't get one or two. If I get any shots, I'll be sure and get back to you. Now you can see how steady the crosshairs are on this. I believe I had the Caldwell Precision, Precision Shooting Rest. It's a real low tripod, real solid to the ground. And I'm not quite sure how far that shot was, but it was out, I wanna say around 140 yards. And uh, man, I have a great deal of confidence in that uh, low tripod. But uh, as you're going to see as this video progresses, when you're watching the crosshairs, they become uh, pretty shaky. That means uh, if you can see some shakiness in the crosshairs that I've got it up on that, uh, I think it's a bog uh, tripod rifle rest. And I do make some fair shots with it. But you can see how shaky it is. Now the camera tripod is just pretty rock solid as well. I'm using the Nikon P900 and it's doing a pretty good job. Another miss right over his head. What we got on the range finder. Now, this is a pretty far shot. I want to say somewhere around 170 yards. A little bit shaky. But the grass was up high. In spite of the shakiness, I still made the shot. But uh, I just couldn't use that real low Caldwell tripod because the grass was just grown up. 
So sometimes if I can use it, I, I'll get down low, but otherwise I gotta get up above the grass. Another good shot. Takes him right on down. Now this uh, prairie dog, I tried a couple of times, I think, at. He was like, man, he was like had some kind of zen or something that was feng shui. He was the master of his domain. I tell you what, I could not hit this prairie dog. Come close, but he didn't seem to be too concerned about it. Been him hardly phasing. Uh, here's another one. I, I can't remember exactly how far this one was. Little weevil. Little weevil wobble. And that one, I just couldn't tell for sure if I hit him or not. This next one, I think, is about 130 yards. You can kind of hear that Tecticam buzzing when I turn it on and off. I know I missed that one, but I thought I might have hit him, but I think he must have had a little hole somewhere. He just ducked right down inside it. This is, I think, that master of the feng shui. You can see how kind of shaky I am. But I'd have got on that Caldwell Precision low tripod if I could, but the grass is just too high here. That crazy pair of dog just sits right there and just lets those bullets whiz right by him. Doesn't even faze him. Kind of make, kind of make a sound, kind of like a duck. I think before I could get back on him, he kind of does a little hide and seek maneuver and drops out of sight. So I have to give up on him. Now this one I caught out in the open. Somehow or another I didn't get my Nikon involved in this one, so just scope cam here. But it, it lays him out. You can look in the background, there's still like three of them that come to attention to see what's going on. I'll get another round in the chamber and see if I can try to get one of them. Yep, yeah, another miss. He's sitting there trying to tempt me. 
See if I can get another shot at him. I may hit just right at his feet, but it's possible that dirt and lead could have splattered up on him, or non-lead, I should say. And I think I got him, but I just couldn't prove it for sure. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.